One of the reasons that we're building James Webb and Miri is to build on um, the information that we've got from Hubble and some of the really exciting data that that's produced, particularly in the field of looking at some of the faintest objects that are furthest away from us in the universe. So this is one of what's called the Hubble deep field images. This was a really long stare onto a very dark patch of sky. And even in that image, Hubble's picking out some very faint blobs of light, which we know to be distant galaxies. So what JWST is going to do is to take some of those really faint objects and try and um, go even further, even deeper back into the past. Um, the furthest objects we can see are the oldest and James Webb's ultimate goal is to find the first galaxies that were formed after the Big Bang. So we're coming in now to our vibration facility. This is where we have a large shaker. We can generate loads up to 40, 80 or even 100 G or more. Uh, the reason that we want to do this sort of testing is to make sure that when we put a spacecraft on top of the rocket, it doesn't shake itself apart and it can survive without breaking in any way. We're going into the clean room, going to go and see JWST Miri. So this is Miri. Um, this is the project that I've been working on for the last eight or nine years. This is the actual real flight instrument that's going to go into space on the James Webb Telescope. One of the key features for MIRI is that it has to operate very cold. So everything that you can see here operates at 6 Kelvin, that's minus 266 degrees C. And to make sure that it stays that cold, it's covered in this, what looks like silver foil. It's actually what we call multi-layer insulation. One of the key reasons that MIRI is going to be so advanced and is going to be able to make these wonderful discoveries is because of the sensitivity that it gives us. Coupling this instrument with the massive mirror that James Webb's going to have, which is something like 20 times the collecting area of Hubble, between them that gives us an enormous increase in the observing power. Just occasionally you step back and you look at what you're producing and what it is that you're actually doing for a living. Um, and think that it's, it is great, really exciting, it's fun work, um, keeps, keeps changing, it keeps interesting because we really are working at the cutting edge of science and technology. The last couple of nights before they stick it on, a, um, on top of a rocket and launch it into space, that will probably be fairly, um, fairly tense when they've got hundreds of tonnes of high explosives sat beneath something you've worked on for nine years, it will be quite exciting.